Good morning, everyone. I'm back. It's Saturday. This is the updated sponsor list, and I'd like to thank everyone for sponsoring my channel. Thank you to pieces. Okay. Um, what have we got going on for this weekend? A lot of stuff. Uh, first off, I made a little background. Uh, you're seeing it, I think, a little bit more green than it really is. This is more turquoise colored. And um, I, I bought a little um, watercolor pad because I didn't want to cut up my real watercolor paper, but I'm not really liking the effects that it gives. I don't know, it's something, it's just a little different. But what I was making it for was for the uh, background, for the um, for the uh, little, uh, wow, they really, really didn't cut that really right, did they? This came with the frame. As you can see, it's, it's really too, ah, well, we'll see. <laughs> There's a little smooch on there. Okay. Now, what I was thinking, but of course I can't show you. I'm not sure what I what I like better on a um, just a background like this or this. So let's just try and oh uh, no, it won't that won't work because I'll have to stick it on there. Okay, let's see what can we do. I think I'll have to do it with uh, a little bit of tape. But what I have up uh, coming up this weekend, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff, all, all different things all together. Uh, I'm going to show you some stuff. I'm going to mix a new pouring medium because, you know, it's with me, it's not about only about the uh, about pouring, but I like experimenting with mediums also. But I guess most of you caught on to that. I love that. I love experimenting and then just looking at what it's going to do. That's sort of my thing. Okay, put that one in there. Because I want to see what would look better, a plain background or a colored background. And now the colored one I did is pretty pretty colored. You know, I could just do one one wash. I could do that too. Okay, we got them on there. Now, we'll put that one in there. Put on the back. I'm not going to close it, though. Just want to see. Well, that looks kind of cute, doesn't it? Now, this is what I... Oh, it could have been a little higher, but, you know, just for the... Uh, nah, let's do it the way it should be. You guys don't mind if the videos get a little longer. Who cares? There's a fast forward. And like you guys say, don't get your panties in a knot. There's a fast forward. Use it. Okie dokie. Okay, let's see if this one that looks better. I do kind of like this. Only the, th the only thing that really um that I don't like is that the background is white and the mat is uh, sort of an eggshell color, so that won't work. So what I think I should do is do something to the corners, maybe. Now I have a little bit of color here. And I have a little bit of water. Oops, now I've got a little bit of water on the table. Ooh, there's still color in my brush. Yeah, sometimes I'm a real sloppy artist. I just leave my brushes just like that. Not a good quality to have because it costs a lot of money if you don't clean your stuff up. But I was uh, really, uh, yesterday I was going to do a video, but I thought, you know, I'm going to do a big cleanup, and that's what I did. I cleaned up the whole mess here I ha have made over the weeks. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for a really nice, that's orange brown. Would that go well? Yeah, I think that would. Now, <clears throat> what I'm using is the Vallejo watercolor. That is kind of a nice orangey 
color and I'm not sure you guys <clears throat> can get that yet but this watercolor paper <laughs> that is one but ugly color that's because I had a uh, green but look can you see how that watercolor paper behaves that is like totally disgusting <laughs> Look at that, it's still green coming out of it. Well, it doesn't matter. I just want to see how it, how it'll look if I did that like this, but then with brown. And now it's sort of a, now it's a sort of, I don't know what for color. Let's put some more brown on there. zip de doo da A little bit over. This is uh, totally not, and see, this is something, maybe that you'll learn something from this video. Um, some people, you know, when they start out with a, with a new medium, they, they go for the cheaper stuff. They think, well, let's just try this and let's buy some really cheap um, watercolor paper. If there's one thing, you, when you're going to do watercolors and you want to, make something for the first time let's see nah that doesn't do it for me i can imagine how that will look that doesn't look nice um well don't don't be cheap on the watercolor paper because it's it's really a, a an important part of um how your uh art's going to turn out that's something that i uh usually like to tell people not to do don't be cheap on the watercolor paper and on the other hand, don't be cheap on the brushes either. If you're really serious about doing watercolor, two things you want to have is really good, one really good brush, size eight. You can do a lot with that. And then invest in some good watercolor paper. Go for a small size, who cares? But it will uh, really help um, make what you're trying to do easier. Let's just do this. Like a little shadow. Maybe do the shadow on both sides. That's kind of cute. So the, uh, the quality of the uh, paint the brush and the watercolor paper really makes it more or less easy to uh, to start off with the, the watercolor. Now let us see, ooh, yes, that's usually what happens when I'm doing it in this small space. You don't have enough space, then everything gets sort of yucky, but good thing the front is already still okay. Put that on top. Put that back in the frame and this is just to see what happens or how it's gonna look well that looks okay if this was another color of course because it's a little bit um, gr I don't know ugly color but that's my own fault because I didn't clean my brush but this is sort of what I was going for only now I'm I'm sure that the background needs to be lighter much lighter so that they those hearts just pop off the uh, the background so okay kind of nice now the other one leave that in there take off these little hearts and I've got to space them out oh, I'm already getting stuff on the back but I'm pretty sure that this is um, this is not going to work out because it's too busy for the background. So put that in there, that in there. Well, not too bad. Nah, but I like it better with a a little bit less busy background because then the hearts pop off. As you can see now. 
they sort of fade into the background and that's not really what you want to go for. So it's always good to have a couple of options and if you do it like this, you know, just play with your background. It's only a piece of uh, watercolor paper, so who cares? But this, as you can see, is not the way to do it because even though the background I think is pretty in the frame, when you put the hearts on top of them, they just fade out. And if you put the hearts back on a some sort of a, um, a lighter background, they will pop off. So that's what I'm trying to show you, the difference between those two. Okay, put those away. That can dry. That's my punch. And I punched out a lot. Let me see if I can punch another one out here. Zip, zip, zip. Nope, doesn't fit. Okay, that's it. Now, another thing I did yesterday was um, make some more jewelry. And I'll show you that too. And I had a little oops here with this one. Now, I'm going to get you in really close. There you go. I don't know if you can pick it up, but there's a slight little bit of glitter I put in there. But only a little bit. You can see it better without the light shining on top of it but here this one I'm sure you, yeah here you can see the little bit of glitter this is a really nice little pendant has this wavy uh, border around it I kind of like this one it's not as big as these but not everyone wants a really big pendant so that one would work out perfectly this one put a little glitter in there too then I had still one left can you remember that I poured this one with that stripe in the middle that I said would be gorgeous for a pendant well this is it there is a little glitter in there somewhere not too much this one I really really liked well still like it's like there's a little hair on there. Let's see. Oh, no, it's gone. But as you can see, the uh, the resin really makes it pop. It's a nice little uh, pendant. Now this one, I had so much work with this one because it flowed over and then I cleaned it off with um, some sort of a, a, not rubbing alcohol, but something else to take it all off. So I took it all off then I poured it again and bingo, it just spilled all over the place again. So what I'm going to do is put this in a, um, in a bucket with warm water and I'm going to see if I can get that off. If anyone has any really good ways to take that off, please let me know. But I will be taking that off. I'm not sure if you can really see that up close, but I really like the little subtle patterns that's in there okay that was that now on to the next thing that I've done let's see get you back in focus there you go <coughs> uh, these two I I, um, I varnished for the giveaway because these two were picked out and as you can see this is what it did look at that see how shiny it is that is beautiful isn't it i think i'm gonna add one more one more layer and then it will almost look like resin but as you can see there are no brush strokes totally nothing this is a really beautiful one and uh, the person that picked this will be surprised when they get it because this in between you i'm not sure if you can pick it up but this is metallic over here this is metallic this here and there's a little glitter going on on top of it but really tiny tiny little bit just to make it pop and um, this one was video 408 if you want to see how I made it it was video 408 and this is the one um, where I did it under pressure with the uh, paint in a piece of uh, foil and then punch it a little hole in it and just splattered it over the uh, canvas and I'm really uh, very still mesmerized by this 
this pour because I don't know it just it's different but I really like it let's see if I can get you in there close so pretty soon this will be going to the new owner and what I did I um, I did make a print out of this one and I put it in um, I mirrored it so it won't be the same as the print of uh, as the canvas but it has the same overall look only it's just a little bit different but this is uh, I really like this but I'm I'm not sure I can duplicate this one Maybe I'll try today, who knows, we'll see. But I like the difference in the, in the cells. There are big cells, little cells, really tiny cells. There's a little veining going on up here, there. There's a little vein. I love it. Okay, that was about it. I'll, um, I'll be cleaning this up so I get some room and I'll be putting down my plastic. Oh, that's something. People are asking me, what do you put on your table? Well, right now I'm putting this on the table. I don't know if you recognize it, but it is um, what they use to wrap pallets in, you know, when they ship stuff off. And this is uh, exactly the, uh, the width that I need for my table. And I just roll off about one meter, stick it on there with uh, tape, and that's it. That's what I, uh, that's what I use. <coughs> okay we're um to the bit where i clean up and mix paint and i'll be right back and we'll be doing some pouring so see you all in a bit love you all to pieces <laughs> 